When you first get started in real estate, if you don't have a mentor that has outlined a process for you to grow your business immediately, you are likely going to feel lost. And maybe you're there right now, or maybe you're looking to get your license and you wanna make sure that you are in a position to immediately get some business as well as grow your pipeline so you have business down the road. So that is what we're gonna cover in today's video. I know when I got started in real estate, I felt extremely overwhelmed by the options that were available to me. I had people telling me I had to make videos. I had other people saying you got a cold call. I had someone else saying you need to door knock. I also had people saying you should hold an open house every single day, twice a day for six hours until you get business. And while all of these methods are proven, there is a problem with having so many different different options when you don't know what those options look like as well as know what is going to work for you. So when you are choosing your lane, when you are figuring out what you need to do as a real estate agent, you need to make sure that you navigate the options that are available to you, but then narrow your focus down to two or three things. And when you look at every successful new agent, ones that do 10, 20, 30 deals in their first year, what they do is they focus on two or three things and that is it. They stay away from all the other noise. They make sure they maximize what they are doing and they tend to pick a area that is meant for their personality. So they are able to thrive in that position in those marketing strategies. So let's talk a little bit more about this. But before we do that, I just wanna introduce myself. My name's Cosmo Marabi with WBNL Coaching. And my main goal here is to provide new real estate agents or agents thinking about getting into the business with information on how to grow their business, how to take their real estate career to the next level. Maybe you're somebody that is part-time, maybe you're somebody that's just a few months in the business and you haven't been able to generate or grow your business. I wanna help you narrow down your focus and this video is going to really share with you what you need to think about, the mindset and the clarity that you need to have when you make your approach to your real estate business. So if you're new here, please hit that like and subscribe button and we look forward to providing you with a ton of value. So the first thing that's taught to new real estate agents is that you must connect with your sphere. You must tell everybody that you are in the real estate business and that is your best opportunity to get a seller or buyer. And while this is true, a lot of the methods that are taught are annoying or extremely salesy and they don't do a good job of demonstrating that you are providing value to that buyer or seller because you are taking the time to learn and understand the business and what it is you can do to help them maximize their real estate needs. So one of the best things you can do if you are truly talking to your sphere, this is you know your top 10 contacts, maybe your top 50 contacts, is if they are a homeowner to make a really quick CMA and create a screen share video explaining to them the recent comps that are in their area. This is gonna help you really stand out and show your value immediately and really differentiate yourself from a standard email that just goes out and says, here's the value of your house. Instead, they hear your voice, they hear your thoughts, they hear the information that you need to provide them. And I'm gonna put a link to an example down in the description so check that out if you don't know how to connect with your sphere right away now if you are reaching out to people about buying real estate something you can do is invite them to go on some new home tours people love looking at new homes even if it's just for entertainment purposes and there you can start conversations and ask them hey what is it that you would be looking for when you're working with a realtor this way you can really demonstrate that you are listening to them and providing them with info again they might not even be in the market but by bringing 
them out there, it's gonna open up opportunities to referrals when your sphere is looking to communicate to other people that might say they need to buy and sell, they are going to say your name if you're the one that's top of mind. So inviting people to check out new homes because it's just something people love to do is a great way to build that connection with someone that may or may not be thinking about buying in the near future but are within your sphere. So these methods I just shared are different ways to connect with your sphere. It's not calling or emailing or texting them, hey, I just got my real estate license. If you're looking to buy or sell, contact me. And that is so bad in today's marketing world. You wanna make sure that you are doing something different, that you are actually making something fun or valuable to your sphere. And the things that I mentioned is a great way to start when you are letting people know that you're in the real estate business. Now, after your sphere, we wanna talk about leads and how you can generate them. Now, you're gonna to be told to do open houses, you're gonna to be told to do door knocking, you're gonna to be told to do cold calling, and all of these things I have tried. I've used the Mojo Dialer, I've went and knocked on doors and left flyers. I also held several open houses, and that is just not my personality. It doesn't match my personality. So beyond your sphere, the next thing you really need to focus on as a new real estate agent is understanding your options and understanding your personality and which option that fits in, right? So if you are someone that is extremely outgoing, you like to dress up, get in that suit and tie, you know, open houses are a great way to demonstrate that professionalism as well as get out there and just talk to people face to face. This is something that is always taught. However, some people that are like me who may not like to initiate conversation right away or they may not be someone that is so outspoken, being able to do an open house is probably not the best method for their personality. They may want to do something like I'm doing right now, which is create a video when I'm just looking at a camera or they may want to really emphasize their social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, and figure out how to connect with people with DMs and stories. These are ways where you don't have to create that initiation or initial contact. Instead, you're able to create a scenario where you are comfortable with the way that you're having conversation based on your personality. So I can dive into each one of these, but the main thing here is you need to do a lot of self-reflection, determine what it is that you feel your strengths are, and then look at the options that are available and either test them out or find somebody that is doing it and ask them questions or go shadow them. Or the last option is to simply just watch YouTube videos on what it takes to be successful in that category. What I had to do in my business is become successful at social media because again, I'm not the person that is very outspoken. I'm not going to wow somebody with a conversation at an open house, but I do know that I have value and information and I can do that really well in front of a camera or when people are are not strangers and I'm not meeting them for the first time. So what I did in my business is I ran Facebook ads and I used Instagram in order to connect with people and really emphasized stories and DMs in order to ask questions to initiate conversations and then I shared videos with these leads in order to get them to know, like, and trust me and that led to appointments uh, after appointments and once I have that initial conversation with people, I'm a lot more comfortable with talking to them face to face. And so by knowing this and running Facebook ads and getting thousands and thousands of leads, I have been able to generate business enough for me to have a career in this real estate business. And so I really want to make sure that you guys do the same thing and take the time to inflect on what it is you want to do how it's done and if it matches you and your personality. So in order to get this done, I am suggesting that we do one important thing here and that is to lay out what you feel your strengths are when it comes to your personality 
and list out the available options that you're interested in when it comes to working the real estate business and then making sure that those match your personality. And as you can determine which ones can match your personality and I don't want you to really eliminate them if you feel like there is some possibility to match. I would put that in a matching column and then from there you need to make a decision on focusing on two or three of those things and you are going to be able to create a real estate career out of this because you are no longer choosing to look at the 50 available marketing options instead you know the two or three that match your personality the most that you really want to go after and you stay focused on that and again this is the difference between new agents that are successful and not they find out the few things that they are meant for when it comes to real estate and they just dominate it so as a thank you for hanging out with me here today i want to make sure you check out the free business plan that we have available in our courses this is something that you can get for free and watch and go through in order to plan out your business so once you have decided your marketing methods you can really get down into the numbers and make sure that you are doing the tasks that you need to in order to meet your real estate goals. So check that out in the description below. My name's Cosmo Morabi with WBNL Coaching and we'll see you next time.